Today we're at 74 West Accord in Conestee Falls, North Carolina. Conestee Falls is a beautiful community, been established since the 70s, has golf, has tennis, has fitness, has country club setting, restaurants, lakes as well, a number of trails, phenomenal community. You can learn more about that on the web. I'll provide a link for you as well. This home was built in 1979. It's around 2,000 square feet. I'll post that online as well. It is a two-bedroom, three-bath home that has been completely gutted out on the inside down to the stud walls. Beautiful little home, great area of the community. We're very close to the clubhouse. We're within walking distance to the clubhouse, to one of the lakes, to some of the many trails here as well. It's a beautiful home. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. As you can see, we're in the main living room area now. This room is probably 22 feet long and probably 13, 14 feet wide in size. Again, the beauty of the house at this stage is that kind of a lot of the, the ugliness of remodeling has already been done. Uh, the, the paneling has been taken out. Uh, the old flooring has been taken out. Um, all these things are things that you would spend a lot of money on if you had to renovate. And many homes in Conestee Falls right now, with their age, require a lot of renovation. So where other homes are sort of a mystery of the unknown of what is behind those walls, under that floor, in the ceiling, this home has already been gone through. The reason why this home was taken down to the stud walls as it is, is that the owner moved out in 2000, uh, I think it was 12 or 13, just after having a new roof put on the house, and then the home sat. The home does not have central uh, air conditioning. It has two fireplaces for its primary heat. The owner never needed air conditioning, but the house sat, and much like a refrigerator that sits closed up, then the house started getting uh, mildewy. Downstairs, there was mildew on the wall. Uh, the owners had a company come in, do a full inspection, and did everything that the company recommended in remediation for any of that mildew. And that report is available online. The beauty is, is that the house has been taken down. It's been completely treated. Um, so the home is ready to go back with the sheetrock. It doesn't have the paneling like so many older homes here. It doesn't have the shag rug like so many older homes here. It's sort of ready to go back together to be redesigned or remodeled like you would like it. Now, if you want to move some of these rooms around, now is a fantastic time. Any builder will tell you, uh, tearing out some of these two by four walls, it doesn't take very much to do so. So you can expand, add on, do different things as well. Other homes in here, you don't know what's behind those walls. So uh, this is a, a, a great home, and I think a home that's ready. Someone could start this winter and probably be moved into the house by the summer and start enjoying the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the master bedroom. Okay, we're in the master bedroom now. One correction, the living room area was actually 27 feet long, not 22, so 5 feet longer. This room here is about 12 by 19 in size. The windows in the house look like they've been replaced at one time. I don't know what the age is, but they are a newer window, certainly not the age of 1979 when this house was built. The bedroom, again, you can move walls around in here. It's just, it's a great stage with a little heater that's coming out in the back. We've got a, a bathroom here with a full shower, tub, sink. The sink has been removed. And then a walk-in closet here as well. So if you want a little bit bigger bathroom, you move that step wall over just a little bit. It's real easy. If you want a fireplace to be a double fireplace on this side, Maybe you want to move this wall back a couple of feet to open up more area into the living room. It's just, it's ripe for renovation. Let's go ahead and take a look at the guest bedroom. Okay, this is our guest bedroom here. Nice window, again, newer windows, uh, probably 12 by 14 in size. Um, you can look at the floor plan that's online. There's a little linen closet area that's built out over the stairs that go downstairs. There's a two by six closet here. And then you've got a, another full bathroom right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen. Okay, this is our kitchen area. Smaller size kitchen. Again, it's a, it's a vacation home. You don't need a huge gourmet kitchen. Uh, it's ready for renovating. I haven't said that enough. 
uh, while you're in here, you may want to remove this wall to open up the kitchen a little bit more. Maybe put in a second window over here as well for more light. Behind the camera, there's a washer and dryer hookup right there. If you didn't use the washer and dryer hookup, you could put your refrigerator in that area or even push the kitchen further that way too. So there's ways to be able to open this area up. Um, this bathroom wall could be pushed over a little bit, maybe made just a little bit smaller instead of a full tub, maybe a shower. And if you did that, you could possibly put in a door from the living room area into this bathroom to create a guest bath or half bath area so you didn't have to go through the bedroom each time. So again, it's, it's a blank slate, it's a, a blank canvas to be able to remodel and paint the picture. Here we're going to go ahead and take a look downstairs at the living space that's available down there as well. Okay, great space down here. There's a kitchen, there's a bathroom, there's a living room, there's a bedroom, walk-in closet, fireplace down here, a lot of space. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen area first. Okay, this is our kitchen area downstairs here. I hope you can hear me. There's a dehumidifier running. There's a couple of them down here to keep any moisture out of the air. Something that probably should have been here a couple of years ago and would have saved them quite a bit of money. Again, great opportunity for the next buyer. The home is, is ready to be put back together. Um, the washer and dryer hookup is down here. The hot water heater that supplies the house is here underneath the stairs. There's more storage underneath the stairs. Um, it looks like there was a shop sink type sink here and this the last time that I was here was where the kitchen cabinets were right along here. From here uh, I will, I'll take a picture of the bathroom, standard bathroom, uh, commode, lavatory, um, tub. This looks like a smaller tub enclosure, more of a shower enclosure downstairs here and there'll be a picture of that and then we'll go into what would be the living room or shop area downstairs. Okay, this is our downstairs living room area. I'm um, not sure if you can see it in the camera or not, but we've got a, a window here, as well as sliding glass doors. There's the fireplace, standalone fireplace right here, probably heats this downstairs phenomenally. The uh, chimney runs up next to the fireplace upstairs as well. And that looks like a fairly new flue system on there, uh, which is nice. I think you can see into the garage area, there's a door there to go into the garage. Um, this place was used as a woodworking shop uh, when the last uh, gentleman owned this place, and so that's what this was used for. Um, just off camera is the shop sink that was in the kitchen, as well as the kitchen sink, and the kitchen sink upstairs um, is still here on the property as well. So the house includes everything, including the kitchen sink. Sorry. From here, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, bedroom downstairs, and then I think we'll probably end at the garage. Okay, this is that bedroom area downstairs. Always questionable with bedrooms downstairs for the fact that there's no window here. Ceiling height is great, so let's just call it an extra room, if you will. An extra room with a walk-in closet. This room's probably 12 by 14, I'm sorry, 12 by 10 in size. This closet is probably three by 10 in size, so a good size closet you could get in and walk around. This is our garage bay. Probably 22 feet long, 14 feet wide in size. Um, there's a garage door just behind the camera there. You may see the corner of it, but you would pull in and still have plenty of space over here on the side as well. So great, great use of space. Drive the golf cart in, go into your wood shop, walk to the clubhouse if you want to. Everything's within walking distance here, which is nice.